Hey guys, it's Kyle Klingforth here from Team Associated, Design Engineer of the TC8, and today I'm going to show you how to press in the bearings on the steering rack and the center pulley hub. So to start, we're going to take a look at the steering rack assembly. And the easiest way to do this that I found is the first thing you want to do is oil some of these bearings. So get some bearing oil, just drop a couple on there all the way around. Wipe off some of the excess. And then I'll take the uh, steering rack here. And these are going to be pretty tight uh, by design. Uh, they need to be pressed in or the steering rack is going to have a lot of play after the first use. So I usually take this guy and then grab your uh, factory team shock pliers. And I'll set this guy right in the middle here. And I'll kind of just work this in. And you'll feel it kind of working in left to right. And then you know, flip it over a couple times and you'll see it seat. So that's how you get one side of it in, and then just repeat for the other side. We'll take that, press it in there. Now, these aren't going to seat 100% doing this, so the next step to this is to take your uh, servo and bow crank mount. Go ahead and take one of the uh, 0.2 and 0.1 shims that come in the kit uh, for shimming these to make sure it's perfect with no play. Set those guys right in the center there. Take the bell crank mount. And then the last thing you're going to need is a M3x6 button head for this assembly. And go ahead and screw this down. And because we put those extra shims in the back, you're going to slowly tighten this and you'll feel it pressing on the bearings. Crank that down a little bit and then loosen it back up. And now your bearing should be pressed in all the way. Uh, and then from there, take out these shims. And uh, typically you only need either zero or 0 0.1 uh, shims for this assembly to not rock back and forth. So I'll start with the uh, 0.1 shim and see if the assembly still moves freely. Crank on this. You can always use Loctite on this as well if you want. So, yeah, bell crank is super free and very minimal rock back and forth. That's probably pretty good. Uh, you could always try a thicker shim and see if it's binding or not. Uh, so, for the center pulley hub, uh, we're going to do something very similar to the steering rack. Uh, first, I'm going to take the uh, 5x10x3 by by bearing that goes in the back of this and we'll just set this guy in there and instead of using the shock pliers in this one I typically just put it on my setup board and press on it and you'll feel it feel it seat in uh, most of the way uh, and then on the other side we're going to take the 5x8x2.5 by by bearing and go ahead and just set that in there on the top and then I usually take a 5.5 uh, nut driver and I like to just press this in a little bit. You'll hear it kind of wiggle in a little bit, but it's not going to go all the way down, just as long as it's in there straight. All right, uh, so next we're going to take the uh, bulkhead and another uh, 0.1 and a 0.2 shim, and we'll place this right over the center here. Um, and then we're going to place the center pulley hub on there, and then it's not going to be seated 100%, that uh, top bearing there. So. Uh, so much of the steering rack, I'm going to take the screw that goes in this and I'm going to slowly tighten this down until that center bearing seats itself and you'll feel it be tight and then you'll feel it stop at the very end right there. And then from there you can back this screw out. And then now the bearing is fully seated. Uh, and then from there you can go ahead and take the shims off of your motor mount. Um, typically this is going to need, I don't know, in between 0.1 and 0.2. So right now I left that 0.2 shim on there. I'm going to take the center pulley hub. And now when I tighten this down, we should be able to tighten this down completely. And it's still spin free if the bearings are pressed in all the way. So that's a little tight. So I'm going to take this back out. And I'm going to put the 0.1 shim in and see how it feels. There we 
Okay, so there we go from there. You can see you can tighten down, you can spin free, and the point of these bearings being pressed in is so you have very minimal play on the pulley hub, and then your spur gear stays true and doesn't wobble.